Hey, it's got, um, yeah, I'm gonna try to basically make, um, I don't think I made any videos this month, so I'm just gonna make all months, this, this month's videos for, in one day, basically. Um, I think I work at 3, 3 p.m. tomorrow, so I, that'll give me time to make, make videos and sleep. I can, I can make a lot of videos today. Um, I, I watched the last video I made, and I noticed there was a lot of, uh, inconsistencies. There was a lot of in inconsistencies. So, uh, I'm gonna try... I don't know. I'm not sure how this works, but, uh... I'll try avoid... I'll, tr I'll try avoiding touching the mic. It seems like every time I touch the mic, it made a noise. So, um, now that that's done, I can start on the next one. Um, once I get, uh, feedback from you guys, I'll start deleting these. I really do need to delete these. I keep, I keep showing you the same ones. Um, this one here I really want to comment to you on. So I'll do, I'll do this one. Um, I didn't, I wasn't any of these players. I was a spectator. And what, what's interesting about this match is it only takes like 10 seconds to go from here to here. So you should always rush on this map, right? But what made this map, what made this interesting Anyone, like, everyone I play with, everyone that I play with, they always go here to here, right? We will and no one did that. Like, here, here is this guy sending in a builder, but these bone singers can't build turns. Like, they can't turn rush, right? So, really, he just wasted... He, he he knows where this building is, right? So he just wasted like he wasted 50 seconds doing that. You know what I mean? He has 300 resources. He can start building listening posts. He just wasted yeah, he just wasted so much time doing that. And what sucks is I'm pretty sure Eldar wins this one. The guy who wasted like 40 seconds just wins this one. So that annoys me greatly. Uh, ne Necron's turret rushes, but he did it wrong. You don't want to. You want to put one here and one like over here. You don't want to put them side by side, right? Putting them side by side doesn't do anything. You should put one here to put pressure on this area. And you should put one, like, I don't know, like, over here, put pressure on this area. You shouldn't put them side by side. Enemy Here's the first, uh, Reapers. Reapers, uh, without the Atrioc are pretty bad. The uh, the Tau Commander has, like, zero health. So, I mean, even with, even with these crappy units, the Tau Commander goes down pretty quickly. In reality, the Tau Commander should be able to kill these units very quickly. These units should go down. Yeah, that Warlock almost died in a couple seconds. Yeah, if the Tau Commander focuses these units, they go down pretty quickly. So yeah, um, I respect this turret rush, but I don't think I don't think he did it right. Really, you should put one, like, over here. And, really, he should force the enemy out of his base. These these scouts can't kill the scarabs fast enough. So, he would be able to build a turret right here. And, the tur and these scouts wouldn't be able to stop it. This is smart, though, uh, sending your space marines the long way around. I do, I do respect that. And I will be... Necrons, because I 
I respect Necrons. I don't really respect Eldar. Uh, Tau Commander for like 100 health in melee stance. Uh, Dark Eldar actually, or Dark Reapers actually have decent melee damage. Um, and so is the Tau Commander. The Tau Commander actually has decent melee. So I'm not sure who would win that fight. Here's the second Reapers with the... These ones seem a lot stronger. So you have this weak one here and these strong ones over here. Yeah, this is just a really bad... These, these, these uh, fire warriors should have kept shooting. They would have gotten like two or three kills. Yeah, two squads of Necrons trying to stop four squads of Eldar. How these guys are alive, I have no idea. I know Necrons are durable, but they're not that durable. This is just really wacky movement, and this is why I wanted to commentate on it, because uh, if I would have just did a non-commentary, it would have been like, oh, it's just two people fighting each other. No, it's it's Doom Spiral. Like, Space Marines are pretty good at rushing, Eldar are pretty good at rushing, like, it's Doom Spiral, and this, this should already be over. Like, Necrons are terrible at rushing. This should already be over. And what makes this match great, and what makes this match unique, is it's just, it's not over. And I think that's what makes this, um, great. And also the Tau Commander just punching people. That's just, Six minutes that's fun to watch. I'm not sure what Tau could do at this point, the win, to be honest with you. Um, honestly, Dark Reapers are such a, uh, Dark Reapers are so overpowered, they're, they're so overpowered that Space Marines can probably just leave the game right now and Eldar would still win. That's just how overpowered Space Marines are. Or that, that Space Marines, uh, Eldar. In building a monolith here, I think it's a mistake. Um, it's 450 energy. Um, and you're spending 450 energy to do nothing. Really, you should have made flayed ones. You should have made a. You should have made a summoning core here. He did make a summoning. Okay. Really, what he should have done is uh, flayed ones. Like maybe pop them right here, and just slow the game down. Or really, you can make ra race, right? Yeah, you can totally. Yeah, you can totally make race right now. But instead, you made this second monolith, which I think is a mistake. I'm pretty sure he knew this turret turret was here, because I think this gives him enough range. Like, I'm pretty sure this turret lets him see this turret. So I don't understand. This is just. This is why I want to. Uh, commentate this match. This is, this is basically why I bought a mic, was because of this. This. I I, I don't want to make fun of these guys because this is incomplete, right? No, I guess I guess it's just a bug. I guess it is complete. Four minutes until taken. But yeah, this is why I want to record it because this is just such a. I mean, Dawn of War is such a unique game that if people mess up that's expected it's a i played the game enough to know it's really a, it's it's an extremely basic game you got shooting units and melee units is is a very basic game but because it's so warhammer is so unique i i understand why people mess up it's it's just such a unique like experience um now now the, they will see this, and it's 
These space marines can do... This entire army could die. And I'm pretty sure... They'll still win. That's how far ahead they are, right? Yeah, Tau's coming. Yeah, it's... It's it's a joke. It's It's a joke. How the commander guy lived this long is just... This it, really is a, like a joke of a game. I, I don't know how else to explain it. This... I mean, it is casual. Like... If I remember right, this guy is like, Oh, I'm gonna help you out. And then he runs away. He's gonna run away here in a second. Somehow Necron's reached level 2, even though he built two, uh, even though he built two, two monoliths. I guess Tau is level 2, so they both hit level 2 at the same time. Yeah, I think Tau killed maybe 4 or 5, uh, Space Marines and that was it. Tao had a pretty strong army, I'll give him that. But, uh. I'm just gonna fast forward, because. This, this is. There, there's definitely a uh, skill difference. Yeah, played ones are. They're not, they're not good. Uh, Flated Ones don't even... Flated Ones straight up don't work on Eldar. They can just outrun them. Uh, Flated Ones w can never hit Eldar. They'll just keep outrunning them. It forces the enemy to micro, though. And if you force an enemy to micro, they could make mistakes. Uh, but yeah, it's... Flated Ones just don't work in this... Uh, on this... Um, so yeah, that was just, I really wanted the, the commentary on that one, because that's just a really strange one. Um, nobody, nobody plays Doom Spiral like that. I watch a lot of Doom Spiral maps, uh, matches. No one plays Doom Spiral the way they, they do. So I, I, uh, really enjoyed that one. Um. I'll do, uh, interesting 3v- No, I'm pretty sure I did these ones. I think the farther I go down, the more I did these ones. Um. I'll do, I'll do Tau. I'll get, no, I don't want to do two Tau's in a row. That'd be, uh, I don't want to do a two hour one. But that would be a good test for my mic. Um, I'll do Guard Saves the Day, because Guard Saves the Day sounds fun. That sounds like a fun one, right? Guard Save. I already did this. No. No, I haven't done. Yeah, this one's new. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure this one's new. Uh, where am I? I'm not sure. I I usually uh, pick random on this map because I just don't care. Uh, I got sister though, and sister is like my favorite race. Uh, it's a pretty fun faction to play as. Uh, I'll fast forward it because I'm pretty sure nothing happens for like three minutes. Uh, as sisters, this this map is weird. It's too small for seraphims. And it's too big for rushing, so it's it's like the perfect size. Cause if this map was a little bit bigger, I would make seraphims. But it's not. It's just I don't know. It's it's that size where you you can't make seraphims and you can't make you can't rush. Here's uh Necrons rushing. Uh, 
I mean, the whole when you play Necrons, the only thing you want to do is buy time, because Necrons fully maxed out are really powerful. So you you really just want to buy time as Necrons. Here's this guy rushing with the Archon. It's not a bad idea. Um, I'm guessing Space Marines is playing defensive. Which is also not a bad idea. Uh, I thought I saw this injured squad and tried to finish him off. I'm pretty sure these warriors just absolutely annihilate my army. Warriors are great at uh, killing commanders. Yeah, my my cannons went from like 80% health to, to dead in like 10 seconds. And that's just from the warriors alone. So warriors can do high damage. And all, uh, I lost my army all because I really wanted to, I really wanted to kill this squad here. If I could kill that squad there, I feel like it would have made a huge difference. Here I am just trying to save my bacon. Like I know I messed up. I'm just trying to save, you know, save my bacon. This guy didn't attach the, the homunculus to the squad, which that's something I do sometimes. I notice uh, homunculus is faster than warriors, and he also has more morale. So, that, so not attaching him to the warriors is actually not the worst idea. Uh, honestly, I think, I think the best thing to do with the homunculus is to attach him to the mandrakes. That's probably the best thing you can do. Uh, his weapon only does morale damage and that's it so yeah the Myunkless weapon only does morale damage making it kind of useless for most fights yeah it's really annoying because you, you you can't rush from Necrons like all these squads are basically dead um, the only reason he's winning is because uh, I don't know. I guess Dark Elder, I guess. Plasma rips right through. Played once. That's a very risky playstyle to send your Necron army um, out and about. It's a very, very risky playstyle. These kind of arrows should be able to deal with this army. Dark Elder are, are famous for uh, struggling against vehicles. So real, in reality, these pure, these Camaros should be able to rip right, right through them. I am come with the Emperor's creed in hand. So I think I made the Relic Carry first. Because it's, it's a really cheap view building. It's only like 100 points or something like that. I really wanted the Manifestorum so I could start making uh, lightning hawks and stuff. Yeah, he has a warrior upgrade now, which makes sense. Uh, some people skip the warrior upgrade, some people grab it. Me personally, I uh, I usually skip it. See, I smited. I I didn't realize. Uh, I thought I was going vehicles, but apparently I'm going smite. I haven't watched this one in a while, so I, we missed that. We missed that smite. So sorry about that. Interesting playstyle from the the Dark Eldar. He's playing Dark Eldar like uh, chaos. He, 
This is the chaos playstyle. You went fast scourges too, which is interesting. Double double leader and uh fast scourges. Yeah, I think I think our problem was we we attacked too soon. I think we uh wanted to kill him right then and there, but we were, were greedy. My can my confessor actually died. My confessor died like twice during that fight, but he's still alive somehow. I noticed his health bar went to zero twice, and he's still alive. I don't know if it's a bug or what. Like I I'm not sure. According to this, the, the match is almost over, so something major must have happened to tip the scales. I got enough for another smite. He just, uh... He just, uh, what's it called? He just malediction two guardsmen. Which is, uh, I guess that's something you can do. Which one is, uh, complaining? Uh, must be the enemy. The enemy is complaining. Oh, the Dark Elder player. Okay, I see the Dark Elder player is uh, complaining. And it seems like the Space Marine player is going for uh, a hero build. <coughs> a hero. Ah. It seems like the Space Marine player is going for a hero hero build. I mean, fast Grey Knights. Uh, I do fast greenings all the time, so uh, it's something that works. Yeah, it seems like they're doing a 1.5, 2.5 sort of thing. They're going pure infantry. Something must have happened here because we're definitely losing. We've been losing this whole. We we lost every fight. Um, we lost every fight in this match. So so, so something major must have happened. Yeah. This guy should throw the grenades, right? Throw a grenade, shoot him. I'm not a space marine expert, so I I don't know. There's no way these grenades survive. They just got done fighting two two uh, enemies. They should be able to destroy this, I believe. It's a bunch of witches and uh, Archon. Sh they should be able to destroy this. He malediction something. Oh, the Casterkins. Yeah, I really feel like the. Witches should be able to destroy this. Oh, not with the Lehman Rust now. And they're constantly getting shot at by this. Wow, failed. I feel like that was worth it though. Um, the amount of resources and time the Dark Elder spent, I, I feel like that was worth it. He failed the attack, but I still think. He's, he spent a squad and a commander to, uh... He spent a, a squad and commander to kill artillery. artillery. Yeah, killing artillery is always important. So I feel like that was a good decision. Even if it didn't work. Plus he was cornered. Um, he was cornered. Still, uh, got some stuff done. So,
It seems like both Space Marine players are pretty much equally skilled. He's, this guy went for pure infantry. This guy uh, went for Hellfire, which should, in theory, uh, counter. These are these are anti-infantry units, so in theory they should counter this army. Uh, but in practice, it, it seems like uh, only got about. It seems like the Smite did about three three kills, three or four kills. But it seems like in practice, these anti-infantry units are are just not working out. This was actually a, a pretty even fight, and it seems like everybody has about the same skill level. I was, yeah, I would say everyone in this fight has about the same amount of skill level. Dark Elder activating all of his abilities. These Terminators might go down. Yeah, it looks like... These Terminators are basically dead. I really do think um, the enemy has a better army. We have what, three squads? These guys have all this going on. I really do think they have a better army. I'm guessing that was our overall strike. Um, this monolith should teleport back soon. It teleports back at about, yeah, it teleports back at 20%. Most level four units, um, you know, they, they you know, they go from full health to zero health. The monolith uh, dis disappears at about 20% health. So really, it really has the monolith has a lot less health than you think it does. This seems like a pretty even fight, though. Um. Really, all Space Marine has to do is repair these, which he is doing. I, I, I think there's still a chance. Warp Beasts are out. Warp Beasts can tear right through these Lehman Russes, no problem. And Warp Beasts, like, one shot the Cassigans. So, that's something. Command Squad looks like. Command Squad looks like it's about to die. I think I did the least in this whole fight. I, I, I did basically nothing in this whole counter. But yeah, I think everyone fought well. Um, no one made any major mistakes except for maybe me getting greedy. See, this is a good... I would kill the tanks first if I was the Dark Elder player. You could even kill the Caskins, really. Yeah, I think he should have killed the Caskins. It would only take like a couple seconds. There's only what? Five of them? Six of them? I do think Warp Beast was the way to go. They can tear right through tanks, like no problem. Yeah, so I think the lesson here is, um,. Greed. Greed got those warp beasts killed. Greed got. Uh, I mean, I only have two squads. Yeah, I only have two squads. So greed got. I'm. I'm basically dead. So greed got me killed, and greed got those warp beasts killed. So here's another level four unit. Really, this should be an equal fight. This really should be an equal fight. These uh, Orgrins should go down pretty soon. This Land Raider got stunned. 
These land raiders, this land raider here is like invincible though, so it should be fine. Land raiders are extremely durable. Land raiders might be the most durable unit in the game. Somehow, uh, oh, I guess we were, we harassed during all this. This right here is my entire army. So yeah, I'm I'm basically dead. If, if someone attacks my army right now, I I lose. I really do think overall this was a pretty even fight. The Necrons had Fermo and no. I feel like Necrons should have had like two monoliths. Yeah, it's been 20 minutes. Necron definitely should have had like two monoliths or more. See, there's two level 4 units. This should be a pretty even fight. This monolith should make be, should be making uh warriors. The warriors should be level level 2. The warriors should have the level 2 upgrade. Okay, it is making units. But I noticed that Poseidon already left. So, yeah, Poseidon left. Dar I think Dark Dog did really well. I think Dark Dog and this guy has has about the same amount of skill. Um, this guy here left. I think he was Eldar. Or not, uh, Dark, Dark Eldar. Dark Eldar guy gave up. It's hard to win with Dark Eldar. Um, it doesn't matter what you do. It's, it's just hard to win with them. I do think uh, Vantrix would have did something. Yeah, there's no detectors, right? Yeah, Vantrix would have actually did, did something. Oh, here's a detector here. But yeah, Vantrix can actually kill all this. Mandrakes actually do massive amounts of damage to anything. Mandrakes can kill this. Mandrakes can uh, kill this. Mandrakes can kill all that. So yeah, I think he should have made Mandrakes. Um, does uh, Imperial Guard have uh, Tactica? Do they have Tactica? Oh, right here. Yep, there's Tactica. Okay, so um, he could attack the code right here. So yeah, so that does that does about it. Um, I think I said everything. It was pretty even. I, yeah, I, I do think Darko was the best player. Um, well, maybe not the best player, but he he did the most. I think the guard player. Um, the guard player, the Basilisk, really helped out. Like, really, really, really helped out. They didn't survive long. But they put a mass, massive amounts of pressure on the enemy. So I think the Basilisk... I think the Basilisk really decided the game. Um, the Monolith... The Monolith could have done something. Well, the Monolith is anti-infantry and it was just pure tanks really like land raider uh bane blade it was just pure tanks so yeah an anti-infantry unit doesn't do well against tanks really what the monolith should have done was teleport to the enemy base and maybe uh maybe solar pulse and uh flayed ones maybe flayed one and maybe that been enough to kill an enemy uh he would have to go into the guard base uh which which could work uh, i've seen necrons kill guard a lot so it could work yeah poseidon had the most uh resources so i feel like you should have had two or three monoliths. Um, 
him having one monolith was just... I don't know. Maybe he didn't get the resource upgrade or something. I feel like he should have had more resources than that. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll uh, end it there. I think I did. I think I did record two of them. Um, maybe next one. Ne maybe next time I'll do the two-hour one. So uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that one. Uh, that'll be it.